Alright guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you and friends. Welcome to Photography Talk episode 85. Now in this week's news, we're going to talk about Fuji's future, which appears to be in healthcare, not imaging. But for now, Fuji still makes cameras and their newest model is set to debut in September. And speaking of new cameras, we're also going to talk about rumors that Canon will be releasing an ultra affordable full frame camera in 2022. And by ultra affordable guys, I mean dirt cheap. But before we dive into this week's headlines, I do want to ask you guys a big favor. As you know, we put out these weekly little news nuggets every single week to help you guys progress or stay on top of what's happening in the photography space. We want to be able to help you out and YouTube is also about helping out as well. So if you find this video helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. When you hit the like button, it tells YouTube that this video was helpful. YouTube is then going to share this video with more people, getting more people familiar with our channel, helping us out, which of course, my friend, I really appreciate that. So in advance, thank you. Now let's get on to this week's headlines. Now, Fuji hasn't been just a film and camera company for a very long time, but now it's becoming even less of a film and camera company. Now, in 2001, the company's imaging division made up 54% of the revenue. As of this year, that number is just 13%. In its place is Fujifilm's healthcare, or Fuji's rather, healthcare division, which now accounts for 48% of the company's revenue. Now, even more stark is the contrast between the two divisions when it comes to operating income. Healthcare makes up 65% of the company's operating income, while imaging is just 9.5. It's apparent that imaging is not going to be Fuji's future. Though there's been no announcement that Fuji will close its imaging divisions, its new CEO has said healthcare and semiconductor materials will be our future earning drive. Now this makes sense given that the only Fuji division to really have a rise in revenue in the last fiscal year was healthcare. Now this goes to show that what was once a camera company is now primarily a healthcare company and with all the healthcare needs that have really emerged as a result of the pandemic, it's safe to say that Fuji's focus will remain in the healthcare space. Now like I said, there's been no hint that Fuji will close its imaging division. In fact, the imaging division still makes up Fuji or still makes Fuji money rather. It just can't compete with the healthcare and the doctor division of the brand. Now we'll see what Fuji does in the upcoming years and even though I'm not a Fuji shooter, I know plenty of people that shoot with them and they absolutely love these cameras, but I do hope that they stick around to the imaging side of it because the world just doesn't seem right if it Fuji isn't making cameras. Ironically, just as we're beginning to wonder if Fuji will be in the imaging business much longer, there's a new Fuji camera on the horizon. Now, reports are showing that the Fuji GFX 50S Mark II will debut in September, and it's going to cost in the neighborhood of $4,000. Now, apparently, the GFX 50S Mark II will share the same body as the GFX 100S. Now, guys, the new camera should have IBIS in a sensor in the range of about 50 megapixels, and since the original uh, GFX 50S debuted, Boy, five years ago, it is well past time for Fuji to offer a new version. Now, however, as we discussed many times in these videos, production delays are virtually certain. So even if the camera is released in September, chances are you're going to have to wait months, if not even more, to actually get your hands on one of these things. Now, as we all know, Canon is putting out some really, truly remarkable cameras and lenses these days. But we also know many of the mirrorless cameras and RF lenses aren't exactly cheap. Canon looks to change that with a rumored full-frame mirrorless camera set to be released next year and a price tag of it, wait for this, under $800. Now that's an incredible price for a full frame camera. No, obviously, whatever this camera ends up being, it's not gonna be able to compete with the R5, R6, or even the upcoming R3. However, a full frame camera under $800 is still a full frame camera. Now right now, Canon's cheapest full frame camera is the EOS RP, which has a price tag of $999. So the new camera would easily outdo it in terms of price. And what's really exciting about this, when you go back a few years, when the RP first came out, the, the full frame camera under a thousand dollars that was big news now the eight hundred dollar is possibly going to be broken which is 
just badass for a lot of people coming into the market. Now, with a bunch of new affordable RF lenses on the horizon, it looks like Canon might steal the show with the entry-level market as it has done for the enthusiasts as well as the professional cameras. Needless to say, when you start looking at the roadmap for Canon, 2022 is going to be a very exciting year for them. All right, guys, let's discuss our current giveaway. Here are the prizes that we have this time around. A Razer Core X eGPU, a pneumatic shoulder bag, a $100 Adorama gift card. As always, entering the giveaways is really simple. Step one, like this video, subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chance that you have to win. So get watching some of our videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you registered on the site and introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing on by, say hello, we would love to see you. Friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the form, check out the description below. Good luck. All right, guys, there you go. Photography Talk episode 85, and we are done. As I keep saying over and over again, these little short little bite-sized news nugget videos are a blast to put together. So of course, at this time of the video, I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff that I always do because hey, we're trying to go to the channel and every time that you hit that like button, it does help us out. So if you would, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, brother, friend, join on the board. We would love to have you part of the family. While you're at it, smash that bell so that for every time that we come out with a new video, you are notified and you get to watch our upcoming videos. But that said, I'm going to be jumping on the office here. You get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot.